With explosive weapons and ammo economy turning to dumpster fire and self-damage coming back, I feel like Tene Arca Plasmore is steadily establishing its position as one of meta weapons for fast clearing. With a 3 meter wide projectile that bounces around for extra coverage and a whole lot of punch through through enemies, it's kinda hard to miss with it. Weapon hits hard, but it has atrocious fire rate and a slow reload which I feel like takes some joy away when playing it. Unless mitigated of course, and it's possible to build a strong build while addressing those two issues. I feel like for a bonus element from a sister, there are probably two real choices. One being toxin for easy viral or corrosive, and the other one being magnetic for a bit more elemental heavy build. Weapon has radiation by default and forces impact up to about the range where falloff stops, which is this number. Adding more elementals feeds galvanized savvy, so in this case it's my preferred way of building the weapon. Projectiles created by the multi-shot do not appear to hit at the same time, which means galvanized savvy works even on the first shot. Magnetic is a secondary elemental, which means it does not combine with mods you put in and in my build I added viral and primed electricity. That comes down to 5 different status effects from this weapon and that makes galvanized savvy a huge asset. Viral is done with chilling reload and that makes it more comfy and it makes viral damage lower than electricity which is probably a better option. With added fire rate I feel like using critical deceleration still keeps the fire rate okay. Difference is huge compared to a regular critical chance mod so it's worth trying if it's fast enough for you. Rest is critical damage, a multi-shot, and since the weapon's ammo economy is pretty great, using projectile flight speed mod in the Exila slot is highly recommended. Primary deadheads bonus of 30% extra headshot damage applies to Arca's 1x headshot multiplier, so it's not lost, just not as huge as with some other weapons. As in most cases, I feel like Arcane is mostly down to personal preference, Primary Merciless might help you with the reload, so that's worth trying out. If you don't have primed electricity, then regular one works as well. Another great option is Blaze. For Hunter's Munitions in that slot, I mean, it works. I'm just not that great of a fan of putting that mod on weapons that have very low fire rate and are not buckshot shotguns. It adds another status effect for Galvanized Savvy, and it sure is strong, but with base multi-shot of 1, it can easily take 3 shots for you to see a bleed proc. And by the time you fire 3 shots with this, most of the enemies are already vaporized. If you use a frame that boosts fire rate or an arcane that does it, then there's no harm in using hunter munitions instead of a fire rate mod. That's probably the weapon's ultimate form with this build. But with armor stripping abilities being hella buffed, and enemy armor being gone with a single click of a button, it's not super needed for high levels. Rivens have very low disposition, so to make use of them, it probably means that Riven needs to have Toxin or some other useful elemental in it to justify dropping a mod. Even then, you're looking at an increase of couple of percentages in total output, so I wouldn't sweat over Rivens for this. Of course, if you like the weapon, you can upgrade it, but it's so hard to get a functional role with such low dispositions, so be ready to dump a lot of Kuva in it. Which probably shouldn't be a problem considering just how easily this weapon deals with steel path enemies. And while not the best weapon at killing acolytes, it will still prime the living hell out of them in two shots, so you can clap them with some strong melee. Now to talk about drawbacks, we've already mentioned fire rate and reload being something that should be addressed with mods, but there's one more thing which you cannot address directly, and that's lack of physical damage types. That's why I feel like using magnetic as a sister element and having viral in the build helps to increase the damage and compensate for the lack of damage types that do well against many enemies. The weapon packs tons of total damage, so it compensates for that on its own as well. Pro tip I would give is to make weapon's energy color a bit darker than the default one because it's less obvious to the shooter just how bright this is. Unless you play Mirage, then using as bright of a color as you can find is essential because blinding everyone around is as important as doing a lot of damage, if not more. Thank you for watching, subscribe for more 
and I'll see you in the next one.